Hey everyone, welcome back to Achieve Ed. I'm Adyant, and today I'm going to be reviewing an accepted Y college essay, specifically an accepted YBU, a Boston University essay. This essay was written by a current member of the Achieve Ed team. In this review, I'm going to be going through the essay, reading through the whole essay, and talking about what parts of the essay are really good and what parts could be improved. But I want you to keep in mind throughout this whole review that this essay was in fact accepted. The student who wrote this essay was in fact accepted to the institution. But I just do want to review this essay and talk about what was good and what could be improved. And now keep in mind, while this is a YBU essay, the advice I give today can be generalized to pretty much any university asking a Y college essay. Now let's get started. In this review, I'm going to read paragraph by paragraph. And after each paragraph, I'm going to stop and sort of reflect on that paragraph, give sort of the pros of the paragraph, what was good about it, and also the cons, what could be improved um, to make this essay even better. So let's get started with reading the first paragraph of this essay. Now it reads as follows. Bill Gates once famously proclaimed that the computer was born to solve problems that did not exist before. My greatest desire is to implement this quote to eradicate the most significant predicaments yet to hit society. As we enter the dawn of the technological golden age, the Boston University degree program in statistics and computer science would be a perfect launch pad for this. Now, some really brief comments. This was a very small paragraph. Um, quick comments. What was great? The introduction was really great. It was quite unique. The writer started first with a quote instead of just getting right to the material of YBU. And then later, only in the last sentence did they give their main thesis statement, um, if you want to call it, of summarizing the whole, what they're going to be talking about throughout the whole essay, which is YBU. But again, they started first with a quote and that provided a unique perspective to this essay. So not much to talk about um, with regard to this paragraph. It was really great that they started off with a quote instead of getting right to the material. Um, but obviously the meat of the essay is down below, mainly in the second paragraph. So let me give it a read. Amongst the many resources at BU, I am most attracted to the research and the internship opportunities that are presented to undergraduates to jumpstart their careers. Programs such as Europe, that connect students with accomplished professors would beyond doubt help nurture my skills from the classroom into the real world and make a meaningful contribution. Another intriguing program is BU's High Performance Computing Club, where I would get the chance to learn about the most cutting edge revolutions in the field of computer science. Given my major choice, an open resource such as BU's Open Web Database will be beneficial in different areas of computer science that I intend to pursue, such as machine learning and artificial intelligence. Out of all these programs, the one that makes BU especially unique to me is the Bill's Hacker Space on campus. I enjoy the idea of collaborating with fellow peers on projects and the vibe of working together to make better solutions. So right off the bat, again, this is a really great written essay in terms of its structure, its organization, uh, and the topics right, which were covered in this paragraph. Um, but some specific comments, right? First, this paragraph clearly showed that the author, the writer of this essay, clearly did research on the university, right? The writer mentioned specific programs like the undergraduate research program, the high performance computing club. Um, what else is here? Let's talk about the open web database, right? Let's talk about the Bill's hacker space. So many examples very specific to the university, clearly show that the writer spent time to research uh, and look into these, um, these programs more specifically, tailoring this essay to this particular college, extremely important and what this writer did well. Again, second thing, there was a great amount of detail. Again, clearly shows that the author did the job of researching the university and putting uh, that research into words in their essay. However, there is something that definitely could be improved in this paragraph, and that is the details. Right now, the writer put a lot of different details, a lot of talked about a lot of different programs at BU. They talked about, again, 
the Open Web Database, High Performance Computing Club. And while they sort of mentioned these clubs, mentioned these activities that were part of BU, why they want to go to BU, they never really expanded on this much. At most, they went and added one more sentence afterwards when they introduced that activity and then just moved on to the next club or next activity. Now that's absolutely fine, again, to just sort of make a list overall of like the different things that you want to experience at that specific university. Um, and that's totally fine for the Y College essay. However, I would only focus on probably one or two activities. I would, instead of just listing the activities and briefly mentioning them, I would go a step further and talk more about it. Maybe talk about what you did in high school and how that relates to the clubs and or, and or programs that you want to get into in this particular college. For example, the author could have expanded upon this high performance computing club and what specifically, what project would they look into in this club to work on? Um, who would they work with? Um, have they done something similar in high school? Having a sort of storyline for that program, that specific program, instead of just stating it and mentioning only a little bit related to what the program is about, that would definitely help strengthen this essay because it shows that not only did the writer do the research on this college, not only does it show that they did the research on these particular programs, but they can clearly make a story of how those programs are going to help them in their careers, in their future, right? Why are they particularly interested in that club, in that activity, in BU, right? By talking about what they did in high school, maybe relating that to these clubs and activities, or maybe just talking about people they want to work with at BU. That, again, those small, minute details would have definitely added a lot more to this essay than simply stating one by one the various programs that they want to take part in at BU. But other than that, again, great paragraph. So let's just read the concluding sort of paragraph. So it basically, the concluding paragraph is just mainly a sentence and it reads, the diverse community, the urban outlook and the outstanding opportunities that BU offers all make me feel belonging here. Again, very wholesome sentence to conclude this whole essay. However, while it is a nice um, rounding summative sentence, the whole essay definitely could have ended in a more unique way. Since the writer started talking about all those programs that they want to get into in BU, maybe the writer could have ended in a more unique way in the concluding sentence, or maybe even tied it back to um, the Bill Gates um, quote that they gave in the intro paragraph to sort of have some sort of parallelism between the beginning intro paragraph about the Bill Gates quote and the end. They could have mentioned that again, right? Something like that, some sort of trick, some sort of unique spin um, would have been really great to make this conclusion sentence even better. Now, I'm not saying that this concluding sentence is um, by any means um, not unique or just sort of uh, a bit boring or general. Um, not at all, right? But I think the, if the writer spent a little more time polishing this essay, they definitely could have found a unique way to tie in all the ideas that they put in the beginning of the paragraph um, or in the beginning of the essay, they could have found a unique way to tie all that information back in to the concluding sentence. Because ideas that they put in the concluding sentence like diverse community and um, urban outlook, those ideas really weren't even mentioned in the previous paragraphs. So while it's a great concluding sentence um, and it's, it's a really summative sentence which is needed in the conclusion, or the concluding paragraph, I definitely think the author, the writer, could have um, sort of tied the information that they talked about previously a little bit better in the concluding paragraph. But again, overall, this was a really great example um, of an essay, of a Y college essay. Um, again, please keep in mind that um, the writer of this essay was in the end accepted to Boston University. So again, please keep that in mind um, as you um, look through this review and you look through this essay. Um, this essay was a really great example of a Y college essay and, and what potentially um, you um, as future applicants could do. I just had a couple of comments, couple of brief um, ideas for this essay 
where the writer, if they had implemented um, some minute changes, um, this essay could have stood out even more in my opinion. But that's it for this review. Thank you so much for watching. Um, if you found this video helpful, um, please do like this video below. And if you haven't already, subscribe to our channel so that you get our latest college advice videos. Again, thank you so much for watching and we will see you in the next one. Thank you.